Hi guys and uh, yeah, welcome to my channel and uh, if you haven't been here before, thanks very much for dropping by and uh, today we're doing a now and then of Royston. Right, I thought we will start off at uh, Royston Station actually. Now, I found a photograph actually of what Royston Station was like um, around about 100 years ago. And uh, this is uh, what uh, Royston Station looks like now. Well, that was uh, Royston Railway Station, and that's actually been here since uh, 1850, opened in October. And uh, I say it serves uh, Royston, and it goes all the way down to London and all the way to Cambridge. So that's Royston. So we're going to move on, and um, we are going to uh, head down towards the, the town centre. As you can see, we're walking down Needle Street at the moment, and um, you know, I've said before in other uh, other videos, you can tell when the old where the old pubs used to be. For example, this one here used to be called the White Bear Pub. Here it is, the White Bear Cottage, formerly the White Bear Pub. down Needle Street and I just haven't come across the old police station. I never knew there was one even down here. Well, we're heading up to uh, Royston Cross at the moment. We're going past the a few independent shops here. So there's like number 41, which is a coffee shop, and Hush, which is a, a skin and beauty place. Now, just across the road uh, is the uh, Royston um, Museum, which is which is closed at the moment. But uh, anyway, from that we'll continue walking. We're nearly at the uh, Royston Cross. So here we are, Royston Cross. Uh, one road goes to Barkway, the other road goes to Neesworth. One road goes to Cambridge, the other road goes down to Bulldog. So it was quite a, a famous crossroads actually. I found a photo of it uh, around about 70 years ago as it was taken. It was a postcard originally and uh, you'd see, you see the policeman. So that's what it looked like back then. And uh, this is what it looks like now. So the next building we see actually is the um, is the old post office, and uh, now it's now it's a pub, and uh, this has been closed now for about probably about mm, ten or fifteen years, and now that, as I say, it's a pub now. It's called the Jolly Posty, and it seems to be uh, quite popular. So our next stop is uh, Royza Stone. This one here, and. Uh, well, this goes back, well, thousands of years, actually. And he's actually been in several places. Sometimes it's where it is now, and sometimes it's been over there as well, on the other side of the, uh, the crossroads. Right in Melbourne Street now, and, uh, well, we've got the famous Royston Cave. Well, this is the actual entrance to the Royston Park here. But as you can see, um, it's it's all locked up because of the uh, COVID-19, so you can't actually go down it. But I've got, got a photo of what it's like down there. 
Um, it was man-made, man and uh, in fact, it goes underneath Melbourne Road. I just mind the traffic, but where I'm standing right now is where the cave is. I survived, I survived not getting run over. Walking down Melbourne Street as well, and uh, we're going to go up past the, uh, the, the uh, Manor House, which is in fact a, uh, a weather sports park. Then we go further down, uh, we'll come to Banyas. came across another photograph actually this is of the um, the the town hall here um, so this is what it looked like back then and uh, this is what it looks like now now if you are a relatively newcomer to Royston you probably didn't know there used to be a cinema here it used to be called the Priory Cinema or, or we used to know it as the Flea Pit now this is what it looked like back then. And this is what it looks like now. It's been pulled down and uh, well, there's houses on there and flats. Now, next to the cinema, there was a swimming pool and um, it was called the Green Plunge. And what I remember of it, it was absolutely freezing. Anyway, digging around again, I found a photograph was colour photographs of the green plunge as it was way back then and of course it says now um, there's houses there because it was in fact adjoined to the um, to the, the Priory Cinema Well, here we are at the Priory Memorial Gardens, and very pleasant it is, especially in this lovely weather, actually. I can't believe how warm it is. The weather is so changeable at the moment. Anyway, this is the, uh, the Priory Gardens here in Royston. We're leaving the gardens now and uh, we're going to head towards Fish Hill. Now, there used to be an auction market here on Wednesday. They used to sell fruit and veg and also miscellaneous stuff and uh, it was called Kennedy's. Now, of course, that's long time gone now. And uh, what's there now, in fact, is a, um, an old people's home, a retirement place. And uh, it's actually called Kennedy's Court. For some old photos actually of the um, of this auction market but um, do you know I can't find any anywhere anyway we're going to head towards uh, the uh, the market square now where the market is on a, a Wednesday and a Saturday right Market Hill actually this is Tesco's Express which is um, where where there used to be the old cattle market at the top of the market here of course that's gone all now and as I said Tesco's Express is there but uh, once again I found another photo of uh, the market way back I think probably probably going back to the 1960s so this is what it looks like uh, way back then and uh, it's not market day and but to give you an idea this is the uh, the market square today There's uh, the Green Man pub behind me. And there used to be another pub called um, uh, The Boar's Head, which is now, uh, I think, turned into like an Indian restaurant takeaway. And here we are at the top of Market Hill. And of course, there's the Checkers pub. And this is actually joined to the book. So 
this is the, the high street here in Royston and uh, we're just walking past the, uh, the Bull Hotel which as I said before is adjoined to the Checkers. visit these different towns and villages. I love to see the prices of property. And uh, we're at a William Brown uh, estate agents, and so let's have a look and see what's what's up for sale. Well, here's something. This is at Houseman Avenue, and uh, it's a detached family home, and uh, it is uh, 400,000. Right, found another property here. This is Curfew Crescent. And uh, this is uh, 575. Looks like this looks like a more more modern property from a new estate. So the price of property seems to be about well about average actually. I think around here. Um, I mean, it's, it's, the connections to London are pretty good because of course you've got the uh, the railway station plus uh, you have the A505 which joins onto the A1 at Bulldog. So you know it's not to like to say. There's a few nice little streets here. Um, now I'm coming to a road that runs um, parallel to the high streets and um, years ago uh, this is where all the stables used to be. Um, there used to be a racehorse um, trainer and uh, we had always stables back here. Of course the stables have all gone now and they've been converted into quite nice houses. Well there we go, that's my, my little trip. My second trip to Royston, uh, showing you what it was like back then and what it looks like now. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, it'd be great if you did. And if you want to leave a comment, please do. And, um, and don't forget to like as well. So once again, this is Andy saying thanks very much for watching. And uh, we'll catch you a little bit later. Bye for now. Bye-bye.